Hello and welcome to Ready Player Dumb. We are here to play the Stanley Parable. Yeah. And uh, this is our Patreon stream of the month. Uh, we, we also are going to be uh, hitting up Octodad the second half, or I think it's second half? Yeah, yeah. like the second like the, part, yeah, part. Uh, of Octodad in the near future. But uh, yeah, this is our stream presented by our fantastic patrons. Yes. Uh, can we shout them out right now? Yeah. All right, we're going to shout them out. I'm making Sarah lean. Nice. Gonna... All right, we've got Yellow Thunder, Anime Guy, Saber Spark, Severus, Michaela Shakespeare, Charlie Quigley, C.284, and Joe Morganti. Thank you, guys. Yes, thank you so much for your support. Uh, the thing that we, like we were talking about a little bit earlier is um, to our live viewers mm -hmm. is that uh, Sarah and I, because we work, you might be able to tell I just got out of the shower. Mm -hmm. But uh, obviously with, with your guys' support, uh, and if we're able to up our patrons and whatnot will also be able to bright up um, as far as doing like live streams and whatnot yeah. and goofing off with all of you live so yeah time is Aww. ah by the way we have a, our uh, our super ch chats now. yeah super chat we got monetization for our channel and we we thank you guys for Ooh. all of all that. Yeah, we couldn't do that without you guys yeah. watching. <laughs> uh, they have like new rules in place, and uh, so it's a it's a it's a thing. But what does Anime Guy have to say? Anime Guy says, "Congrats on monetization. We'll be uh, we'll be getting it hopefully soon too. Had to delete some copyright vids from my channel. Hopefully, the, my big one will be fine." Thank you, Anime Guy. Good luck with your luck. channel as well. Yes. Um, so yes, we are here to play the Stanley Parable. Mm -hmm. Unlike any game up to this point, yeah. whether recorded on our, our channel or that we've played live, uh, this is going to be the first game. I have absolutely <laughs> zero idea what the hell yeah. I'm gonna be doing. He doesn't I, know anything well, about this yeah. game. I like I like Octodad I had never played before, mm -hmm. but I I had seen stuff about it. Mm -hmm. Literally what you see here and the thumbnail that Sarah made for the promo and the name is all I know. He has no context whatsoever. I have no idea what we're doing here today. So without further ado, yeah. uh, let's do it. Let's, Good. let's it's do it. Again, you would press the X button. Whoa, look, it goes on forever. Yeah, okay, click the X button. Are you sure? Yeah. The end is never, the end is, Never. The, the end. end is loading. <laughs> you can't see that part because yeah. we're blocking it. But it, it just says the end is never the end. Because we have big over heads. and over on the bottom. End the is never the end. Is never the end. It's like it's like when you come into a song like in the middle of a verse, and it's supposed to be like the end is never. But instead, you start with never the, the end is, is never the <laughs> end is never the end. The years stop coming and the don't stop coming and the don't stop coming and the don't. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Oh. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. He was happy. He was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Everyone Never was in quarantine. all his years at the company <laughs> had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. You, understand? Whoa, whoa, whoa! 
All right, I just want to real quick ask everybody, how is the narrator's voice um, loud enough? Since we're since we're live, we want to. <laughs> Emin, Emin, Emin Prime is saying, guess, guess he didn't, he didn't know, know about, about the pandemic. pandemic. Yeah, Stanley went to work. Hi, Gizmo. Uh, hi, Gizmo. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Alrighty. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Cool. Sounds good. All right. It is approximately time. Time. And <laughs> who who has these clocks uh, nowadays? Who reads those clocks? I don't know. Like, well, we have one like hanging on our wall. I know, and this whole time I have no idea what it even means. <laughs> like, what are these numbers? Is it three six o'clock right now? Sure. All right. So here's my office. Yes. Uh, this is where I work, y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, these are my these are my wires. Oh, we got a super chat. Oh, <laughs> Sean Four says while my stream paused, I froze and salt. Oh. <laughs> oh no. No. Well, thank you for the super chat. Yeah. You super chat. Super. Uh, so I have these wires that go suspiciously into the this. And then there's my desk lamp that's illuminating my Illuminati confirmed. Mm -hmm. um, okay, there's my pencil sharpener. Yeah. There, what does this say? Uh, something like Mondays. Uh, uh, probably something about hating Mondays. Yeah, I th it's probably one of those Four I hate Mondays. Mondays. Uh, okay, all right. So this is very much like my office at work, except I'm further away from anyone. They like to really put us back. You're like streams going. <laughs> that's this is the the joy of, of the live stuff is like monitor, monitor. Yeah. And our our monitors behind our our light, our light. umbrella. Yeah. Over here, so there's like. Everybody else is streaming. All right. Back, right? All right. And there's my there's my. That is my picture that I took when I went to a place with grass. I love that place. Okay, I'm going out. I'm pre Oh! Jesus Christ, honey. Did it's you just the door? Yeah, but it. You're pressing the it, button to it, open it. It almost door. killed me. Did you not see Stanley that? Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Oh. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell Wait. under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. <laughs> Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. What? <laughs> I feel bad, I shut the door. Oh, okay. Here it comes. Did anything change in here? I don't think so. No. Suspicious. Okay. Except this changed. Yep. This isn't my, this isn't my hallway. All of his co-workers were ah! What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. This is like that movie with Will Ferrell, where yeah. there's all of a sudden a narrator telling him what to do, and he's like, Stop it! <laughs> I like how you were like, Honey, when the door attacked me. Oh, well, you, you were so loud. It freaked me out! That's what happens when I get freaked out. This is probably... No, that's locked. Hello? Ooh. Mm, can I open any other doors? I'll go check it out. All right, I'm going in. Welcome well, to the whiteboard ending. I don't want to go into this. What is this room? Like, this is not a meeting room. Con console bark. 
console uh, and spark. Saber spark. I wonder if that's like a, if you actually had console commands uh, enabled that you would be able to do something. Uh, the whiteboard ending. Wait. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, here's a photo of mountains. Yeah. Okay. The times. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. What a <laughs> jerk! <laughs> Shut up, narrator. I'll do what I want. Um, now, see, now I'm gonna touch every single. Oh, okay. I could get down. I could get down on it. Diddly, diddly, get down on it. I like to imagine some guy in like a suit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, I bet this is where meetings happen. Hello? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, <laughs> just to admire it. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Damn it. Hello? Uh-oh. Something happened in there. Oh, Chaos. Yeah. Discord. Cozy glow. I am a rebel. Thank you, <laughs> Gemini. Hello? Anyone there? Is this my break? Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. Yes. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, <laughs> beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yeah, drink. <laughs> Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room <laughs> so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. This, like, honestly, I'm getting some serious Panama Matt vibes. <laughs> like, he's just like, mm-hmm. At this Cough. point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Wow! <laughs> this game's an asshole! <laughs> Jerk. What if I want a soda? Stanley uh. sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. <laughs> See, now I'm just gonna hang out. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? See, that's important. Yeah. Let's look at the paintings on the wall. Oh, yeah. Let's look at the paintings on the wall. Ah. I love it. ocean. This is when I went on a cruise. Mm -hmm. And this is when I went to a leaf. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you think that your office is hanging up your vacation photos? Well, yeah. Okay. I'm the only one that submitted them. Uh, hmm. Wait a minute. That's my grass picture. Mm. Suspicious. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> Wait, what is that sign? Uh, sign saying? Caution, do not lie. If you're lying right now, stop. <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm truthful. That was a lie. Trump course says my favorite vacation spot, a leaf. A leaf. It's a good vacation spot. MS Prime asks, hope you don't mind me asking regarding Kingdom Hearts. Do you plan on 100% completing the game or just the story? Just curious because I am really enjoying that playthrough regardless. 
Um, yeah, so I don't think it's gonna, it's not 100%. Uh, it's mostly the story. I think for Kingdom Hearts, we, we're trying to do as much as we can without, you know, kind of belaboring it. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, we're- Give everyone like the- It's the, not gonna be 100%. The most flavor. It's close though. I like hitting up a lot of stuff as we'll see in this game. Uh, this clearly is saying, do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Mm -hmm. It will cause death. Is that, a, is that suggesting that when the cargo lift is not in motion, mm -hmm. I can jump off of it and it won't cause death? Let's find out. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, $5,000. Look, Stanny, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust Ooh. in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Huh? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. <laughs> have you played this game before? Yes, I have. So Sarah knows of this game. There will be things that you probably do that I have not experienced, though. And like I this? Yeah. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. I did do that. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> Look at that mouse. Wait. So that first time that you closed the door, that was a ending of this game. <laughs> so now you're back here. Already this was uncomfortable, and Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. Is this gonna... Re Wait a minute. This is a different area. This is different. Yeah. This is the first hallway that you were in, like. The end is the never the end. Is never the end. Is never the end. Is never the end. Is never. I gotta commission Black Griffin to make a song. <laughs> the end is never the end. 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 Hello. So that's why it just. It, it just all of a sudden reset to the door being open. Yeah. Oh, what does that computer say? It looks different. Oh! Awaiting input. 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 Input, Stephanie. Stephanie. Number five alive! <laughs> Number five is alive. Can I do anything? More input, Stephanie. Oh, oh. I think I pressed a button. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Input receive. So it did something. They don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. They don't stop coming. They don't. Okay. Well, that was fun. Input. Hello? <laughs> See, these are the kind of corners that you find like, like rat traps, and then you're like, ew, <laughs> we have an infestation. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Which mm. uh. uh. one? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Or maybe I should have gone into the other one. No, let's try again. No. Oh, I don't have a choice. <laughs> All right. I got my rebels here with me. Yeah. Being rebels. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank Gorge. goodness, but eager to get back to business. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Mm. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. 
Let's do it for her. Look, Stanny, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Yeah, you I'm think? I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This is it, Stan. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back Whoa. into your life. She's <laughs> been waiting. Yeah, I think so. She's been waiting. Hello? Is this... Am I gonna find Sarah? <laughs> Sarah, I'm done working. There's an ominous dark room. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. No. If you can truly <laughs> place your faith in another, no. then pick up the phone. <laughs> no! I can't do it! <laughs> oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Alright. Okay, there we go. Alright now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. <laughs> I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. <laughs> Is that true? That nobody oh, I wants love you. I'm your wife. You know, I I apologize, folks. So this is this is a, a pretty deep moment for me. I need. <laughs> oh my god! I just, oh no! I you gotta show the camera what you're what you're doing. I know. So that's loud. <laughs> um, I'm gonna eat my sorrows away with this Boston cream <laughs> pie cake. Uh, the good news is this shouldn't take too long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's only a little bit of cake left. Like three bites. <laughs> well, that's very disappointing. Yeah. That he would put that on me. <laughs> Are you having fun? <laughs> Are you enjoying this video game that allows you to eat cake? <laughs> yes. Best part of the game is right now. Mm. All right. All right. Mm. Hopefully, hopefully this narrator gets off my dick. Oh! The coaster fell. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. So you, are you going to enter the room? <laughs> yeah. The strong person says the cake is a lot. I'm going to go this way. Though. Sorry, but you're in my story now. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to drop that at some point. I know it. It's such mm. on, it's on a flimsy plastic thing. Yeah. You're going to you're going <laughs> to drop it at some point. Mm. <laughs> I hate this guy. I am the captain. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? What? Good morning, employee 247. 427, sorry. Press Y on your gamepad. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, square? There's no Y. Or triangle. It's probably going to get on me for not doing that. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Please press RB. Right. right bumper. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button, 
Now he's eating lunch. Now <laughs> he's going home. Like cake. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Do we truly? But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic okay, discoveries of new lands. It into was the end. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Please press Y to watch TV. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. <laughs> First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Press X to spend time with the boys. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. RT to prepare. I want to hang out with the boys! <laughs> As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. <laughs> Press it was you such a story. wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again and then again and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Elsie to tell your wife you love her. I love you. <laughs> but there is no answer. Thanks. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. <laughs> the longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. No. RB to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Fresh LT to wait. You see, in the <laughs> can you just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? That'll be the I suppose I can't, not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I, question I simply nothing. play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try <laughs> once more to convey all this to oh, him. Boy. I'm compelled to. I the must. The dropping the cake. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. Maybe. And I tried again. <laughs> Please stop. And Stanley pushed a button. <laughs> and I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So that's what, three, four endings at this point? Have you ever seen that movie, Matilda? Uh, yes. I feel like I have, I feel like Bruce Bugtrotter <laughs> is my spirit animal. Yeah. Alrighty, what you gonna do this time? Mm. Um, there was a request. Yeah. Someone. I can't wait to tell this story to my co workers, mm -hmm. Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? <laughs> Sean Forrest. And I tried again, and Jeffrey ate some dessert. Hey! Oh, no, in the chat, uh, 
uh, sends a super chat saying send cake. Here, Laura, have it. <laughs> would it upset anybody if I went right in the middle and just dug out? Do you think that would be like, like ludicrous if I just went like right there? Whatever, it's your cake that you're eating. What, it, what would you do? Laura, what would you do if I took this cake and just went splat into your face? I wouldn't like it. Would you like, be upset? Yeah, I'd be upset. Why? It'd be fun. Because it'd be all over my face and then I'd have mm. to get up from the stream and clean myself off. Stanley stood for a long time in one spot. It's part of a game. He likes to see how long he can go without dying. So far, <laughs> he's doing excellent. And if he just stays right where he is, I'm sure he'll keep up that good momentum. Let's observe the genius at work. Laura said, cry. She'd cry. <clears throat> um, good to see you, Laura. Hey, Hello. Nice. Welcome to the stream. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference nor did it advance the story in any way. All right. I tried for science, Pixie. All right, so this is where we were earlier. Was that Pixie's request for you to touch your door? Yeah. Usually I, I try to avoid what is When Stanley came to a set spoilers, of two like, doors, he entered the door on his left. Mm. Okay, all right, so I'm debating. Do I go in the right door, and this time obey what I'm being told, mm -hmm. or do I go to the left door and see where it takes me? It's up to you, babe. Right door. This was <laughs> not the correct way let's, to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly let's, well. Let's kind of fill Perhaps this out. Perhaps he wanted to mm -hmm. stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Dude. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, <laughs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. Not yet. We need to. Stanley was so bad at following directions, Ooh. it's incredible he wasn't following. We need to. We need ago. to finish this one out with my wife. Look, Stanley. I think perhaps this we've got a long the wrong foot here. I'm not sure. He goes there. Really hmm? I realize like, that investing in your trust in someone one. else can be difficult, you know but the fact is like that the story has been about I'm going nothing to obey but you says. all this time. Well, obeying There's what someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision for oh. yourself. Now, I'm not asking for I me. Meant, I meant. I'm asking for her. It was the. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. Mm. Now to I'm just confused. your work aside. Yeah. To let her back into your life. You're doing the same She's thing been waiting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But but the last time he specifically said, mm -hmm. "Don't press a button," and I pressed the button. Okay. I'm curious what happens if I don't press the button, or what happens That's if I don't so answer. Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your what faith happens? in another. And next time you then pick maybe up the go phone. This route, I'll tell you another way to go. Okay. Okay. Sarah's thinking she can control my life. Go to the message machine. Beep! Hi, you reached me. What? Ah! <laughs> there was Spark. I'll. I'll read it. <laughs> I'll read it out loud. <laughs> Saber Spark with a huge super chat. Thank you, Saber. Thank also you. one of our patrons. Uh, it says, Judy Socks. <laughs> okay, I guess nothing's happening. Um, I was going to suggest something. That would be different. <laughs> I feel like you're going to just go through the same ending at Sh this point. Saber Spark. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry no. to keep you waiting. No. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Saber. All right. When you okay, give super chat, I give Boston right, cream I cake. I want you to come Here. in and tell me all about your day. Here, can I play through this? <laughs> I think it's going to be the same ending. Gotcha. Sure. Oh, I'll on. give him the cake. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point he here, Stanley. Some. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. 
Let me show you what's really going on here. No. This time, obey. This him. is a very sad story about the death of a man named Because that's what Stanley. I didn't do. You didn't? Mm -mm. That's what I was saying. I want to go in. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. So he has a job that demands nothing of him. Everything every that, button that he pushes he says, is a reminder of the yummy. inconsequential like nature of his like existence. My cake. Mm, mm, mm. Look at him mm. there, pushing buttons, doing exactly You're gonna be what he's told for to dinner. do. Now he's pushing Wait, a button. What do you mean? Now you he's eating lunch. Now I thought you did he's everything. Going home. Do all this, now but at the end of it, back to work. he says, One "Don't press the button." Sorry for him, and I did press the button because I'm a rebel. I'm a crazy rebel. But in his mind, ah, with sugar, in his mind, he can go Boston cream sugar. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. Oh it my was wonderful. gosh. And each day that he returned Thank to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. <laughs> he is a madman. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his yeah. boss, everyone in the building <laughs> had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. So oh. he went further. He imagined mm. that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this dinner. fantasy world, yeah. he began I like to dinner. with many possible <laughs> paths. What did everyone eat today? Yeah. I want to see on, in the chat. I want, I want people to tell me what food you had. Controls. What was like down your another was meal. a yellow line that weaved in many directions, oh, wow. and down another was a game with a baby, and he called it the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head he relived it again. I and wasn't then again, thinking when I realized again, I'd have to go over and over, this dialogue wishing beyond hope yeah. that it would never end, Sorry. that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. And Amiga Hopefully had mod pizza be. for lunch. In reality, Ooh. all he's doing is pushing the same buttons. What do you mod your mod pizza Nothing to? Nothing has changed. The longer he spends the here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Chicken. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. From but as long as he wow. remains here, he's it's slowly it. killing himself. Oh, here we are, here we are. Listen okay. to me. He won't stop. Here, Real. watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. This is what we've been waiting for, guys. Now, how long do we have to sit here is the question. And my guy says, uh, for his pizza, white sauce, Asiago, and mozzarella cheese, bacon, and ground beef. Oh, yeah. Saber said, I had turkey hot dogs for lunch, then chicken and broccoli for dinner. That's funny because Imperius had chicken and broccoli for dinner. <laughs> All right, for something. Pixie cooked spaghetti and meatballs from scratch. Yeah, I said that like two minutes ago. Nice, I heard you. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. Damn it. I thought this was going to pay off. <laughs> nope. Damn it. Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's elected CJ to guys himself. had a burrito bowl How can from I get him Ola. To see you like I burrito see? bowls. How can I make him look at himself? What do you have for lunch? Hmm? What do you have for lunch? Okay. I suppose uh, I can't. I Not in the way I want uh, him to. Beef but I don't make the rules. I simply play to Jim my intended purpose. Guys, please, I just ate Stanley. and now I'm getting hungry again. Aww. Not so different, I suppose. I'll try <laughs> once more puzzle. to convey this helper. to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. 
And I tried again. Mm. <laughs> and Stanley yeah. pushed a button. Are you reading suggestions? And I tried again. Yeah. yeah. And Stanley so that's one pushed thing. a button. There's another thing that I can show you. Well, now I know not to go that full direction anymore. Now we start working our way back and figuring out what's going to happen. The end is never the end, is never the end, is well, never the end, is never the end, is never the end. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total mm -hmm. solitude was terrifying to him. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, right, we're going back to the warehouse. Way to the meeting room, mm -hmm. and Stanley knew right. it perfectly well. Yeah. Perhaps we're not he going all, stop by the we're employee not going all the way. I'll show you. Just to admire I'll show you. it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Standing now in this incredible yeah. Yeah. room, Stanley, for the first but eager to totally get back to business, door. it's funny because I've been losing some weight, open door on his left. and this Boston cake is going to help me lose more. Stanley sure. was so bad at following directions, right. it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. But instead of going all the way up there, you can jump onto that catwalk from it. No shit. When it lifts, yeah. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm nervous. I'm not your enemy, no, not really, yet. I'm not. When it I lifts. realize that investing your trust in someone else can be okay. difficult, right but now? the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this like, time. Turn to the left a little bit. There's All someone right, you've yeah. been neglecting, Stanley. Someone right. you've forgotten. What? Oh, really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. No. Uh oh. I'm curious, his audio seems to be a bit off. That's so right. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Is it? I was saying no because I was having a. What is that saying? Danger everywhere. <laughs> Danger. Danger everywhere. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is what you had in mind as a good time, Sarah. <laughs> Just saying, this is one of the ways you can go. Did you exercise every now option? Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, which one do you do? He wants me to yeah. walk through the blue door. I know it. I know it. He stressed it. Doing uh, reverse psychology yep. kind of thing? Yeah, he stressed it. He knows I haven't listened to him up to this point. Yeah. But you know what? I'm smarter than him. <laughs> so I will walk through the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just, I want it to stop. I would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. I just realized that this turned into just a big circle. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Doodly, deadly, deadly. Which one should I go through? This one or this one? I don't think it matters. That that one I think is going technically the other way. <laughs> it just ended the game. What oh. do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Oh my god. It's full of stars. Wow. Wow. Oh. Bless. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Look pretty.
<laughs> Aw, I made him happy. Oh. Wow, well, this just took a turn. Yeah. Pink elephants. Pink elephants. They're here <laughs> and there. Pink elephants everywhere. I made him happy. Yeah. Good job. I think that means I win. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. I mean, I don't know if I. Should I just stay here for a little bit? I don't know. Did you ever experience this? Yep. It's like we're inside of the frickin... Shortport says, this kind of reminds me of the old journey into imagination. imagination. It reminds me of... I'm going to tell a story. But uh, it, I was going to actually reference something else in Epcot. I yeah. was going to say it's the... Um... Oh, the color room that we went in? No. Oh. No, the, the golf ball ride. Really? Yeah. Spaceship bro. Yeah, yes. you go through the stars. Yeah, okay. Um, so, anyways, uh, real quick story. So, there was one time I had this dream where uh, we had gone to, like, a, a, a mining area mm -hmm. um, and, and seen, like, kind of examples of, you know, mining or whatever. And... Uh, the, ooh, the uh, there was one thing where in the hole, or sorry, in the ground, there was like a display where it showed like it was supposed to be as if someone had dug down at the core of the earth. Mm -hmm. And I remembered seeing that and being like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. And I remember even stepping on it to be like, oh, I wonder. Well, in my dream, I actually was able to step on it and I fell in. And so I crawled through it and I came out the the end of the earth. Yeah. Not, I didn't go into the middle. I actually made it like where I climbed out and I was literally walking on like a very small globe. Yeah. That was the earth. Wow. Like it was probably like a quarter of the size of the Epcot ball. Yeah. But like I was just there, I saw continents. Yeah. And I was like, wow. <laughs> this is what it's like to walk out of the earth and obviously like <laughs> logic really was trippy as a kid but yeah. all right sorry i know you enjoyed it guy but i can't have Ooh. wait where are you going <laughs> it started over i think Oh no, stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. I can't disappoint him. <laughs> this game's funny. Like, I didn't know what to expect. What do we talk about? You're oh, risking everything sorry. we achieve. Sorry. <laughs> you heard me before, didn't you? You will die. What about this isn't getting through to you? I'm going for it. I'm going for it, guys. It is a nice room. Shorn Forest, Please, I agree. Please, no, yeah. Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. <laughs> oh! I'm alive! Thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? Yes. Yes, we can.
<laughs> he said to stop moving. Mm. That's exactly what we'll do. Yeah. Okay, now we'll move. This isn't fair. I can't sit still. <laughs> Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Is there anything else in here I should try to do? No, I think this is about it. Okay, jump again. Yep. No, 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 what are you doing? Do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? Um, earlier we saw that danger, danger everywhere sign. And Pixie said some and to the effect of engineers. Yeah. And I'm like, that's funny. Mm -hmm. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do my card? Is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You are literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? <laughs> Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Wreck it, Ralph! Is it over? <laughs> it's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. <laughs> I like how it just cuts like off. Like, perfectly cut screams. Like, sort of like that. Like, perfectly cut. That was a nice room. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh all at the right, time so I thought everyone had gone missing? This time we're gonna go in the blue door. When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way through. to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly blue. well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I, this is this is my thoroughness with a game like this. Stanley felt yeah. lightheaded. Or should I should I stomach. go into the fun Giddy room and eager to and get then back to phone. business, Stanley took the first okay. open door on his left. So that's an option. Yeah. Going into the Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's okay, incredible he wasn't it. five years ago. So let's do. Look, Stanley. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. <laughs> I'm not sure Invader is like, I feel bad for the narrative. I realize that <laughs> investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have Whoa, zero see, like, right there, that wasn't me. for others? Are you that convinced Con that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? Engineers. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm... He did show me side. actually something beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> I still don't think we're communicating. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. Wait, so it's around you. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. <laughs> Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Mm. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, <laughs> tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. 
I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea <laughs> came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't Ooh. teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Ooh. <laughs> Worldwide leaderboard. Ooh. Wow. Good old Neil. It's offline. Skid. Meet your nacho. Hogarth. Wow, going fast. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Probably at the bottom. Stanley. <laughs> Zoo. How long does it take you to get to the correct door? Complete, compete against others to improve your Stanley Parable career. Oh, nice try. In total, uh, this many doors open, doors attempted, steps taken, endings achieved, doors are closed, awards won. <laughs> you are the worst. Okay. Is this the same door? Yeah. <laughs> now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. <laughs> so, I died. Oh no! Game, Whoa! The bear crawls <laughs> left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think <laughs> the outworld will really take notice. <laughs> but of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. I wonder if the game genuinely does something. That's an awful noise. Oh, that's so loud. <laughs> I, ugh, I, I just wonder if the game actually rewards you for playing four straight hours of this. All right, let's burn. <laughs> You heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. What? Oh my God. <laughs> well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired, a game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. So you had no Will idea this was be a enough? thing? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Where is this? The swoon go here, no, oh. here, and then. Oh. I get to watch him play Minecraft. Is this what it's like to play with Matt? Does he go? See, what does it need? I uh, yes. Of and just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? I love it. Isn't it perfect? <laughs> it could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond 
everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. <laughs> we have to go mining. Oh. Yay. <laughs> so, for the record, I've actually never played Minecraft. Yeah. That'll be something that we'll probably get you into. Oh, my. You, me and Matt. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Yeah. I totally went to turn on the flashlight like we're playing The Last of Us. Yeah. Was this game made by the same people? No. Really? That's great. Saber Spark has a question for everybody oh, no, in the no, chat. No, 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 This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. <laughs> oh, Saber says, how much... Would it take for y'all to stream Amnesia? I think we plan to around Halloween time. <laughs> so free. Yes! I don't even know what this game is, but you I You mean a, a, a hundred you thousand in a dollars? Box with no way out, listening to you me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. We're in Portal. And now what's funny is that Jeffrey's played Portal 2. Long not, time ago. He's, he hasn't played the first Portal. Never played it. We'll, we'll play both. Yeah. I've forgotten everything. <laughs> and we'll also do the two player at some point. Yeah. We'll get frustrated at that once. Yeah. But I am excited. For some reason, I have the audio clips, some of the audio clips from the first one on my computer. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a puzzle. <laughs> Critical so you thinking, Stanley. Your forte. <laughs> oh. What just happened? Like, Jeez. this game is just like, all right, here we go. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games, and I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Oh. <laughs> Work in progress, beta. Work in progress. What's happening? Galactic Puzzle says, I will so be there if you guys play Portal in another great setting. Yeah, I think maybe we'll stream Portal, the first game, um, since it is a shorter video game. Yeah. What is going on? I'm freaking out because I'm lost. Holy crap. <laughs> I think he is gone. Ha ha. Goodbye. Where the heck am I supposed to go? Or will I die? What's this? Mm. Programming stuff. Is there a door in here? It's very dark. But there's no use running over every last day. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. You know what choice I'm happy about? understand soon what I was okay. trying to tell him. Okay. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Don't do that. That's gross. That's gross. Oh. <laughs> That's gross. Wait, what happened? Why is that gross? Hmm? No. 
You're weird. Aren't you? You're weird. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Black Puzzle says that was actually the original layout of the office for this game. Oh. When Stanley came to a set of two All open right. doors, this was I feel like we're getting the way to what? the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Door. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I'm gonna unplug the phone. I'm working. Are working our way. We're going way Backwards. deep. Yeah. The lounge and then we're gonna grand. dial Adjusted. it back until we eventually Perhaps, go to the left. But eager to get back to business, Stanley, Stanley took the first uh, open door on his left. This game, the Twilight Parable. Why Twilight? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible my, he wasn't fired years ago. That's my Discord, Discord voice. Yeah. 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 Look, Stanley, Why I think perhaps we've got the wrong foot here. You need to stop being sure a you really bitch. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. So I'm going the all the way, right? Is that the yeah. story has been about like nothing but you. We're going balls deep time. into this game right now. There's someone oh you've been neglecting, Stanley. <laughs> someone you've forgotten about. Oh my Please, God. stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Where is I'm your God now, me. Sarah? Are you open to suggestions? Oh uh, yeah. This is Pixie it, says, click the door your 437 five times next time. I did that To put earlier. your work aside. To let next her time. back yeah. into your Again? life. Yeah. She's been waiting. But I... Can I just do it? Can't hurt to do it again. Oh, good point. Thanks ah. her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. Oh, no, 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 you can't. Did you just unplug the phone? <laughs> now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. <laughs> no, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. You liar! Now, picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Ooh. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. <laughs> but if used incorrectly, can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. Saber Spark! Spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Steven? Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius wow. of his house. Wow. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an Ford? excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn Ford? to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. What? A back sack and crack. Practice. Uh-oh. Oh, oh it... yeah. Is it? My goodness, Excellent. is it 4.30? Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. 
At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision-making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Airplane or helicopter. All right. So now we're out of that door. Yes. We're going somewhere. This is a... Are you able to even go in that room? Let's find out. Nope. All right. Lots of doors are locked. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the Hello. dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Okay. All right. Where is he taking us? Out there. Hello. Where is he taking us? Where are we going? It's like this forces me to go in the other room. Hey, bye. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the hmm. real world. Hmm. This game... Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors... He entered the door on his left. <laughs> I don't know if it'll do anything different. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, <laughs> hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Oh! I tried. Broken. <laughs> okay. What if you just stand here? So while I, I try that, I'll just stand here. Yeah. Um, yeah, this I feel like this game was legitimately made because of gamers like me. <laughs> the one, the, the kind of game where it's like, hey, do this. And you're like, but what if I don't? And it's like, you son of a bitch. I said do it. And <laughs> yeah, like if I had just followed my instructions... I'm like, F no. I have Boston cream cake. Yeah. It was two dollars. <laughs> okay. We're going in. <gasps> it's your first time in the left door. It's my first time in the left door. This is like this must be what it's like to order uh a nothing pizza with left beef. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My Not story, you destroyed my matters. work. Why? For yeah. what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? <laughs> Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. It was a I'll cake have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. Broken. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. No! I have to. No. Hello? Oh, I'm, I'm here. I'm Where? still here. Here Where? in this pile of rubbish. 
with you. You, who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? Yeah. He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. <laughs> oh, my story. Call me a child. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. <laughs> it's behaved exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing oh. responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow I'll my lead and you'll be fine. Yes. All right. Go. <clears throat> Well, when Stanley oh. came to a set of two open doors, so we're just gonna set the door on his left. I wanna see, I wanna try <laughs> for at least a minute. Let's see what happens. Nothing may happen. I don't know. You no, guys do. Why, how, how are you gonna get a, a slice out? I don't know, I'm just thinking about kind of just going in and figuring it out once I get there. Oh god. It's a chest burster. <laughs> you know, that didn't work out near as awesome as I thought it would. Yeah. He's not saying anything, Sarah. Well, I guess not. I guess I'll have to put my cake down. Let's go in the left door in the first place. Mm. Uh oh. Uh, oh, how many napkins? I, oh boy. You need me to. Yeah, I'll get up. Sarah, help me! I'm helpless. Stormforce says next live stream, Jeffrey eats an entire three tier cake. Mm. The problem is, we haven't eaten dinner yet. So, like. I don't know if sugar is kind of like alcohol, where you almost have to, like, eat food with it to absorb the sugar, but, yeah, it is a pretty good cake. I mean, I made it myself with money <laughs> at a store that I did not have anything to do with. Um, yes, cake before dinner. I know, Pixie. I'm sorry. Uh, uh Hopefully I don't don't ruin my appetite. What's everyone doing for the weekend? Since Sarah's out a little bit, what are you guys up to? Uh, it's hot, at least here in Southern California. It's a scorcher. Very, very hot. Um, probably going to be in triple digit weather. Bonnie says, eating way too many burgers. It's freezing in Australia. That's right, because you guys are in winter time right now. Hi. Sorry, I had to pee. <laughs> it, is a dry, it is a dry heat. I was stalling for you. Yeah, thank he you. never said anything, so we're just going to go in. All right. Just living, says Invader. A wise decision. Hey, look, everything's intact. Yeah, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Who moved my desk? Papers are too synergized. Uh, fire paper guy. Hire somebody to fire the paper guy, synergizing guy. Who moved my desk? Please keep the targets on the topic of push for funding for R and D. The future was yesterday. Tomorrow is now. Tomorrow? Complete today's unfinished agenda I items right next day's agenda reflect. Hey, look. Everyone, Everyone is, is unique. unique. You most of all. Number of slides on the slide. Charts, charts, and slides. Slides. <laughs> it's like a real PowerPoint. 
Right at which charts, uh, the same slides depict the same information. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, rate of increase on the graphs per slide. Oh no! Charts and big no! The boss appreciation minute. On your boss appreciation minute work worksheet, circle the top 20 things you love most about your boss, fill out the trip uh, triplicate, and return to your boss appreciation at once. Uh, solving interpersonal conflict. If you ever find yourself in a conflict with another intelligent employee like yourself, but more inclined toward conflict, unless you're uh, the kind of... What are your dreams for the future? It says it takes two people to start a fight, and right now you're both of them. <laughs> what are your dreams for the future? Success, transcend. Plant life, Pollution. football, less something. Chester, we're not getting fired. Talk less, do unbelievably amazing work all the time, every day, with no expectation of promotion or recognition. Don't get fired. <laughs> uh, Tips for not getting fired. Don't how get to fired. solve a dispute with a coworker? Uh, let it ball up inside you. Take up, out passive aggressively on your other coworkers. Resent coworkers for not supporting you more. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel on all the text. This will ensure a calm and something Productive environment. work, work environment. environment. All right, so this... That's, that's great. That's Synergize great. core value expedition. Synergizing. Monetize free to play. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Damn it. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Tell everybody I'm on my way. Wow, fancy. Oh, you could tell this is the... Ooh. What's over here? Shit. Shit is over here. Uh, hello, I'm here to talk to the boss. Thank you. It's a Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. So just as a point of reference, um, Strongfar says, I think things that would be choices are locked right now as the narrator's <coughs> raiders. Stanley to spoke the code. Make you do the Night story. Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Uh, Night I'm Shark sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Sarah, make it work. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just not pressing the right button. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, Came then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to you me. Do Explain <laughs> yourself, you coward. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door what on his What the left. fuck? <laughs> Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Hey, Stanley? Stanley, yeah. please. I, I need you to make a choice. The end! I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Thank you for playing Can Stanley Parable. Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. Oh, did I actually beat it? The story I think this... It uh, you make a decision. It cannot exist possible, without you. Yeah. Do you understand me? I'm the greatest gamer ever! You can't be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. So am I right in thinking that if I just listened to him and did exactly what it said to do, the game would have been 
over in like three minutes. Potentially. I need this. I, 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 like it's the kind of game remember, that you're supposed like, to. I don't remember everything about it. Like I can't. Are you there? You listening to Generally this? here, it's like. Okay. Is this what you were anticipating? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. When was this game made? I'll wait for you to um, it was made. The right thing to do. That's funny. Take as much time as like. you need. Um, oh, Stanley. Flat Stanley. Uh oh. End is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. 2011. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had right, simply think, missed a memo. Is that I think they said it was 4 30. It might have been. It's either 4 37 or 4 30. I don't think it's that one. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Was that other door 430? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. A few more times. I think y'all are pulling my leg. <laughs> I think this is just a big game to you. You're just goofing on... On on dear old race best, aren't you? He's Faster. Tap, he's tapping it pretty fast. Well, that's for thirty-seven. Uh, 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 he's ta He's he's pressing it. Bonnie Muffin says you have to do it real fast. Give it. Oh, <laughs> don't press that. I did it! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys are just fucking with me, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm literally like... Uh, this is the Steam version, yeah. Pixie says it should be working. Well, maybe on, on our next run. How about that? I'm, I'll look it up on my laptop. See what this thing with 4:30 is about. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk through the right door this time. Oh, you know what? I've. It's. If it's because it's an achievement, it, I've probably already done it. I. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh. Jerk. Then. And I, I, I got the go outside achievement, um, which I'll explain that one in a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go through the. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, uh, he entered the door on his left. I'm gonna go through the right mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. I'm this gonna do something real quick. The well, there's the, 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 the door, door on the left, left. Right. left, but actually Perhaps somebody said that you could fall off. Lounge first, just you to admire fall it. Off. But you could fall off. Without and here falling was, off of the great. The lounge. But eager to okay. get back to business, Stanley took the first I don't know if open it does door on his left. But we're gonna find out now, huh? All right. All right. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Let's see what happens. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to I his sure death. I sure did. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> I think that was very similar to the first time we did it. Yeah, but um, it was still funny. Uh, Pixie says, wait, you got to go outside wait, achievement. Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? <sighs> they um, never stopped. Surely so I was mistaken. Yeah, tell me about it. It is an achievement that is when only Stanley unlocked. Came to a set of two open, this was not, not the correct the way to the meeting years. room, and Stanley knew it Excuse perfectly me? well. Perhaps he wanted like, to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. If you do not if, touch uh, the game yeah. for five years, it, award, it rewards yeah, you. Yeah, if you don't okay. open the game for five whole years, it gives you an achievement 
But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. So what does the achievement do? Like, do you actually get to see the outside? It, it just, I, I opened the game today, oh. and it just Gave had it the you. little bloop. All right, outside. we're going in. We're done with all the other stuff mm -hmm. further. And so he oh, detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. No, he didn't. <laughs> having heart problems. Bye, narrator. Silly narrator. <laughs> it might be loading a new area. Who knows? But Stanley didn't yep. want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go um uh, uh, from here. It's um left. Well, shit. <laughs> oh no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. Asshole! <laughs> no, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? It's this one, isn't it? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, CJ down, left, guy says I left, can't get that right. achievement until 2023. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, yes. Your time is coming. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. All right. What's down here? Where we go? No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to um. Spoilers. Oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track. Hmm. Okay. From yeah. the top. Hmm. But I wanted. All right, let's try this one more time. All of his co-workers were gone. Oh, wait. So, it is miss? it for sure an achievement? Stanley yeah. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Pixie says, my favorite achievement is the eight achievement. I don't know if that's something that when I'll... Stanley... Wait. I... Wait. Oh. What? No. <laughs> I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game oh. over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? <laughs> did you move the story somewhere or... Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. I hate okay, spoilers, then. Gemini. It's an adventure. <laughs> Spo it, Come, all Gemini said was Let's spoilers with a funny story. face. And I'm like, yeah, I should have... Oh, shit. Well... What's door? Oh no. Uh, should I should I start this out strategically? Sure. All right, I'll start with the left. Oh my gosh, is every door open? Hey, well, no. The doors are open. The doors up. So this goes to the same area. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? <laughs> so that, I think, is an ending. So, so whenever it says the end is blah, 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 um, that's when it's an All actual ending. gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, so now we're gonna go back into that situation. Yeah. Um, okay, yep, it's worse. Oh I'm no. I'm remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Interesting. Now it's fucking with me. Yeah. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. 
the story. Here it comes. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Okay. Okay. Ew. What happened? Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? <laughs> well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! <laughs> I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good, good job. job. I won. Oh, no. no, I don't feel right about this at all. We uh. both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win <laughs> fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. That's okay. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. <laughs> the end is never the end is never the end. Ah! All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. Wow. I, How simple is that? I really screwed the game up, didn't I? <laughs> I'm confused, though, because usually I go this way. I follow the line. Follow the line? Do it. Okay. All right. Sarah has said an executive... Dis Wait a minute. Follow the line. But there's 437 again, but it's in a different spot. Yeah. 4B5? You see, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? <laughs> Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Pizza, pizza! Hopefully this isn't a copyrighted. <laughs> I love this song. Honestly, I can't really see straight right now. I don't know if it's it's the cake or it's the bouncy. <laughs> Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. <sighs> the Make sure song. you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Okay. Da 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 da. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story. Is any of this... Oh, no, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through... Fired. You... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Fired. Yeah. Uh-oh. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're yeah. intelligent people, right? Yeah. Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? 
<laughs> the door opened. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story Circles. to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Circles. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for Ooh. it. This game's fucked up. Yeah. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, <laughs> I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Curious house. Is California super expensive to live in? Yes. Yes. Super expensive. Hence why we have no money. <laughs> ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know Short that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's oh gosh, origin. Make so starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. I'm dizzy. The Cut. confusion ending. Oh, hold up, what's this? Oh. Hmm. The confusion ending. Find the confusion ending, ending scene. You're narrator telling restarts me. the game for three That's stars. That's what this is. Forgets about it's previous a one restarts. giant ending. And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really <laughs> how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? It was cheap really... cake. No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I, don't I want won't to restart the game. I won't. Do it, I won't do it, I won't do it. Good. And the time return stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. <laughs> I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that, that this hard? is a kind of yeah. story. Okay. Wouldn't you agree? I'm, I'm not being quite sure if we're in the destination theatrical. or the yeah. journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So uh, I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Con. Eventually. Well, in the meantime... If... <laughs> what happened? We're starting. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided a, to go to the meeting room. An Perhaps he had reset? simply missed a memo. I think so. Wow, that was a long yeah. parallel. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was, it okay. was okay. But eager to get back to business, right. Stanley We're going took back the in first here. open door on his left. This time, I don't think and there so were any other options with that, right? No. Section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. Okay. Left or right, Max? Well, uh, meeting room. Right! Wait a minute, are we actually on track? Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
one option. It's to go in here. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping mm. he might find an answer there. Hmm. Try the broom closet. Turn around. Turn. Try the broom broom closet. I did. Okay. No, you didn't. It opened. Go in. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. <laughs> it was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it <laughs> is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. F.A.? Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. No. A lot of people in chat excited about You do about realize the there's closet. no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. The narrator needs some cake. Maybe yeah. to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. The broom closet ending? This concerning. Theb? This is Theb. <laughs> Theb broom closet ending. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Can I do that? Anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their <laughs> corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand computer. basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. <laughs> All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. What did he say that I... Hmm. What what in hookers? Drug. This game hits deep. <laughs> How does it... How did it know? Are we good to go back in the hallway, guys? Are we safe? Are we safe to proceed? Seems like we're. No more bronies react. Race is dead. This is funny. Sorry, guys. I'm dead. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. It's pretty great. <sighs> All right. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No, I did it. Is it already go down here? Nope. Right, 
big red shiny button. Do you know what that's a reference to? I forget. Cat dog. Ah, uh, okay. It was when, for some reason, dog got really smart and cat got dumb. Mm-hmm. And he goes, big red shiny but Stanley button. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All maybe. of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Yeah. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, Ooh. and it too appeared. Ooh. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Yeah. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. <laughs> I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams... Jim and I says, the this ending was the one that gave me a splitting headache. This was not a dream. <laughs> how could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. This Stanley reminds me of that uh, right now, gif that someone made of uh, his life. the now, dude. The voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Blinking, but he like after all, both of his eyes are blinking. Beyond a doubt, like, that like this, this was in fact a dream. Like Did the not voice not see him float and yeah, make the magical the stars the just a moment game. ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just. He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. Yeah. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake <laughs> up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. I'm okay. Oh, I'm still here. <laughs> Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. I'm Please, real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. <laughs> This is the story of a woman named Mariella. <laughs> Mariella woke up on a day like any other. 
She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. <laughs> but on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. Good night, Matt. <laughs> he was obviously crazy. Hi, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. <laughs> Morbid. Was that the end? That was the end. Oh yeah. man. So apparently with the broom closet, uh -huh. apparently... There... If you went back in, it would be like, not you too! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, we're getting into those two hours. When Stanley came to a set of two point. open doors, he entered the door on his left. I, I feel like, am I wrong in thinking that we're almost completion? Maybe. I think we are. You want to just keep going for a little bit more? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, I don't think I've gone in, I don't think I've just gone in here yet. Omega217 says, yo, what up, folks? What up, Omega? Hey, Omega. Was, uh, and yeah, yeah, Matt wasn't leaving. He was just saying goodnight. Yeah, because Stanley was falling asleep, essentially, or either thinking that he was dreaming. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Matt, just so you know, this narrator, I compared him to you earlier, with just his, like, just shitting on, on me demeanor. how I... How I play this game, and it's just that sarcasm that you're so well known for. Yeah. So, do you feel like we're good to move on from the room closet? I mean, you can like open it up at least. Maybe step into it, see if there's a different dialogue. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. So, he might not say anything. Yeah. But I love that. No, 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 no. no. So there wasn't Coming anything else downstairs, right? Stanley yeah. walked upstairs okay. to his boss's office. I'm pretty sure there was not. So we're in our boss's office. What does this Ooh. say? Executive bathroom. That's new. Yeah. He didn't say that earlier. No, I didn't. That's still open. Now it's closed. Oh my god. I do love how the game made fun of how you, you can't see the feet. Yeah. That's great. This is different. Yes. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. <laughs> Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code <laughs> by sheer luck. Amazing. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Yeah? Yeah? I think it's somewhere in this room. Yeah? 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 There it is. Yeah da 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 Bye bye. Welcome to the Tower of Terror. 
This is a tower with terror. Thank you. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. I'm nervous. But excited. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door mind that read facility. Mind Control Facility. We're going in, guys. <laughs> the lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Hey, Stanley wonder. thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Oh. <laughs> of course. I knew that. All right. Shrimp Boy says there was also a path to the left there. Okay. Over here? Well, I, I think it's it might be too late now because that other door closed, but apparently there was a path to the left somewhere within, like beyond that door. Oh. So that's something. It's something. I just want to use the executive bathroom. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. <gasps> Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Sarah. Yeah. It's like real work. It was before the last door closed. It's like real work! This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No! He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. Pirate. His own life in someone pirate. else's control? Like Never. It was unthinkable, <laughs> wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yes. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. For he's a jolly good fellow. <laughs> for he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. Looks like the door from Monsters Inc. <laughs> you know, for a second I was gonna correct you. Like, you mean Monsters University. And then I'm like, Club. that is That's not amazing. correct. Technically, so, both are correct. So let's see here. Trying to figure this out. Mm hmm. See if there are multiple options. There's stairs over to your right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Pixie says, "Did either of you have to work in an office?" Um, I currently do. Yeah, uh, I worked in an office. Um, well, I guess I technically still do work in an office at the RV park not quite cubicle-esque office, but I did work um, for a toy design company. I'm gonna click it. Um, which I was in like kind of those cubicles. Mm. But the plus was I got to work with a Cintiq. A what? A Cintiq. Um, it's a one of those high professional grade tablets that you can draw directly onto and it's huge. You can't 
They're really nice, but they're a butt ton of money. It was the only time I ever got to use this antique. Hey. Facility power. Five. Bunch of numbers. I wonder if I have to press them in order. Maybe. Mind control is idle. Awaiting input. Input Stephanie! And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? <laughs> Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? <laughs> it's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Guys. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. <laughs> What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine, I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let Don't it know what burn to, do, to sir. a crisp. I have to say this, though. Wait it out, this yeah. version of events has been rather amusing. It might be all right. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with right. on the next go around <laughs> will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? <laughs> Oh, good lord. These are precious additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on trees. Well, we have time then to... Yeah. Oh, dear me. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea Some where you're going or what you're supposed yeah. to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Okay. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing yeah, in this room. I mean, these numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this got door. Our PS4 controller. Anything, directly. something here Plugged will save me. <laughs> like, Do you think that, Stan? Oh, no. That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy <laughs> it first. So All right, 30 more seconds. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds really until shaky. a big boom and then... I want to know that no ending here. 
just you being I appreciate you putting me in this scenario. Will you cling yeah. desperately to your frail life? Yeah. Well, or will you let it go peacefully? Another I appreciate you all. Thank Thanks, all expert day. level support. It's all the same to me. All a part of Hold me, journey. Sarah. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second This is goodbye, everybody! <laughs> Here it comes! I think we're dead. I think we exploded. <laughs> Sean Forrest says, Everybody dance now! Bum, 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 bum. We died! Yeah. So it seems All like there were two options gone. left. Uh, what could uh, it mean? Wait a minute. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Sounds different. Mm -hmm. I think. Maybe not. Maybe I've just done this too many times. <laughs> I feel like I'm making a lot of left turns here. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, so so the door this time left. let's go to the left. Is that what someone said? Yeah, there was an option to go to the left somewhere. Yet there was not a single person here either. Hello, Rock. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his <laughs> boss's office, hoping he might find an answer yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. All right. Coming to a staircase, yeah. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Chauffeur says, "I know there's still several endings left. I don't recall how to get most of them." I just want That's to right. use. Oh! It opened. The executive bathroom. Oh. Because the boss knows that. What the boss says goes. If the boss suffered losses, and that's what the boss chose. Oh, wow. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Rock says, I've never seen that happen with the broom closet. Can I flush the toilet? Ex extreme bathrooms. CJ Guy says, I, c I can tell you how to get a few engines I remember, but I don't know how long you want to keep playing. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Uh... Well, I know that we have two more, though. Stepping into his manager's office, so Stanley was once first thing again I'm going to do is I'm going to put the wrong okay. Let's see what it does here. Yeah. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He yeah, if, uh, if anyone knows of additional uh, endings that we do without yeah. telling us what happens, yeah. go ahead and let us know, like, some other things we should have. Like Why not? We're here, right? Yeah. caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? <laughs> in fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his yeah. feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. I bet, I bet there's a code that you could put in improperly. Yeah. But like, Stanley I just wonder who sat here and kept thumbs, inputting the wrong to codes. Input anything on the device was Wasn't there a code we were given could earlier? Possibly know that the combination was yeah. too I could have sworn well, there was. Three three oh. Well, fine. Two, <laughs> eight, four, five. Rock is suggesting we type eight, 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 eight on the keyboard pad. Yeah, I did it. I knew somebody probably did this long enough. Stanley simply be forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. <laughs> well, whoop de do. Um, when you walk into this room, you can walk far enough in to make the start, the door start closing, but run back through before it closes. So I think they mean the manager's room which at this point I think it's a bit too late. Um, Probably got the eight achievement from 
Oh, is that the Standing one I probably just did? Head through yeah. the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. Okay, okay, so here, let's go to the left. Yeah, I think this is what. Um, Although this about passageway earlier. had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Yeah. Is she about yet? Is she the right? The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Yeah. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Uh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. The end? I don't think it's the end. Uh, I have very good knees. Yeah. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like oh. plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned oh. and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Well. There we are, Stanley. All right, guys. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. As Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. <laughs> In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. But I'm alive. Yeah. Who's that lady? I don't know. It's dark in here. Oops, sorry. Oh. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Hey, look. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? There's our favorite vacation spot. Yep, the leaves. Invader's like, this isn't my narrator. Oh, look! Little offices. Oh, look at that. The two, two doors. doors. Set of two open doors was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parables design. Once the room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration of the contradiction this room posed. C the contradiction. Filing cabinets. There they are. Office computers. Employee database. Solitaire. Credits. <laughs> All right, should I go? I came from over there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that door's closed already. The I office. Wonder, I wonder if all these are. All right. Let's go! Wait. Wait, what does this say? Button sounds. A selection of sounds used throughout the game where buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of keyboard, stroke, and a synthesized tone. All right. What's this? The Maintenance, Maintenance room. room. Wait, what does it say? An early version of the maintenance room. How wow. What is up here? HD remixes to win. <laughs> the point of the Stanley Parable, the HD remix, is to win. It's the to lose. Stanley Parable HD remix is to lose. More endings, fewer endings, more narrators, fewer narrators. Larger words. <laughs> Am I going crazy? Metcalf family says, hey, Epic Gamer. What's up? What's up? This what is does this sign say? Narrator. Emails. Emails. 
Sorry, I'm just trying to... Eh. There we go. After the second trailer, we set out... Uh, we asked people to email the narr... <laughs> Fuck, dude! <laughs> For questions, while we had initially planned to use those in further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are a selection of those emails. Oh, look at the emails! Okay. Well, then I want to know... Okay. Should I sit here and read them? No. Okay. That's fine. Is this Darth Vader? Sure. Ah, the phone. The phone. The apartment timer. Previous version is a choice leading to the apartment ending. A timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. I'm nervous. What happens when it hits zero? That's okay. The cargo, cargo lift. lift. Cargo lift was always intended to offer the choice of staying or jumping into a different path. However, after this early version, we decided we also wanted the option of the player falling to their death. Well, who wouldn't want that as an option? Oh, video game museum. I feel like this is like a legitimate like behind the scenes. Yeah, the cargo lift, the second version is functionally the same as what's in the final game, but we wanted it to look more like a place where cargo was actually stored. Smart. Yeah. Uh, what's in here? Wow. Where the hell are we? Meeting room. Meeting room. So layouts, maintenance layout. Follow, follow of the hallways, flow. following the, the flow of the hallways, following the first two doors was important to get right. Since players will replay them so many times, we discussed a number of designs, but ultimately it was the simplest version that went out. Let's see them. Obey. Disobey. <laughs> All right. All right. And then we got this. Oh, this just keeps going. Yeah. Zending levers. Mm. Originally part of the zending the player would pull a lever and the narrator would describe what color uh, lever they had pulled. I wonder if that was that room we were in that was just turning different colors. Yeah. Screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as the Zending, which is eventually cut and merged with another part of the game. Yeah. <laughs> escape menu. For a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realized this was what they were supposed to do, which was a frustrating for everyone. Uh, I haven't been in here. Hello. Monitor room elevator. For a time, the elevator to the monitor room would go up or down with freedom above uh, and countdown below. Uh, we abandoned when the players found out found it too difficult to remember what was up and what was down. Blah, blah, blah. What up freedom is down? Freedom ending. This is the freedom ending as it is existed in the beta. Oh. Spoilers. Countdown disc. One of the desks from an early version of the countdown ending. Wow. Look at all those monitors. Yep. They play some serious eye racing, I bet. <laughs> freedom ending. This was the very first incarnation of the freedom ending in the game's alpha. Why do I get this feeling that there's an ending I haven't seen yet? There's quite a few, probably, that we have not seen yet. Oh, my god. Boss's office. Screens from the development of the boss's office. Wow. <laughs> it keeps on going. Just uh, show us everything. These are employee lounge stuff. Underground. An early version of the underground portion of the game. Whoa. Narration outtakes. Kevin Brighting, the voice of the narrator, recorded dialogue for the entire game roughly three separate times over the two years of development. These are clips from early takes that were not used. Yeah. Uh huh. Click on the chair thing. Hmm. <laughs> what a tease. Okay, honey. Well, fine. Don't tell me that. Oh, you know what? I thought I heard talking, but it's very quiet. So. Did you? I thought so. Oh, no, it's just the clicking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
I don't actually know how to like get out of this though. Yeah, well, keep on. Well, you're going back. Uh, I think there was a, another way to the right. Oh huh. uh, yeah, I was super quiet. I heard it several times. Okay. All right. Now what? Um. You can maybe try going out the door there, but I don't think so. This door. Yard. Sorry, miss. I oh, it's just straight up gone at this point. There's okay. not okay. even a door. Or you want me to walk around for a bit? No. Oh, okay. You haven't Wanted eaten my... Wanted to feel the touch of a controller in my hand for a brief moment. That's all you get. Okay, go up here. <laughs> the left. Oh. War zone. Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up in a battlefield fighting aliens. The action in the game would become sentient and would wage uh, wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that this was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Ha ha! Frickin' shooters. Frickin' F. TPs. Okay, so you went up these stairs, right? I did. Okay. To left. How do we get out of this? Yeah, we did this. Okay, okay here's something new. Offices. Offices. Guys, you all know how to get out of here. <laughs> offices. <laughs> We're in offices. Game design mock-up. This was a level that William, the level designer, sent Davy the writer as a kind of audition piece. The strength of this level got the William hired to design the full game, uh, though much of the environment has changed. The basic layout of this mock-up is still in the game. Whoa. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Ouch. Okay, there was a direction in here that we did not go somewhere. Someone said Wait. that? Well, I mean, like, oh, that's exit. What I'm guessing. Thank you. Exit. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? <laughs> no, perhaps not. Sometimes these it's things dark. cannot be seen. It's shaking. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You What's can happened? stop the program before they What's both What's going play. on? Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now. It'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... I think I died. Yeah. <laughs> I think you got smushed. I think I'm dead 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 I freaking dead 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 that one. Uh, do you think this is a uh, press that button that you play, pressed earlier? Which one? The one that opened the menu. I, this, um, I think this is the like in the museum there was like a thing where it's like oh you know people had to Close the menu in order to get this one ending or whatever. Where, where did it go? Or, Pull or, it back up again. Or. Resume the game or, or begin the game again. Uh, click resume. That's what I've been to. Okay. Well, begin the game again, I guess. What happened? What happened? Do it. I'm dead for real. I'm dead for real. What was what button was it? Dead for real. Do the. What was it? No. Okay. <laughs> I 
I died. Yeah. Hello. All right. How much longer are we gonna play? Stanley Bowles. What could Bowles. it mean? I at least want to do. Go to the meeting hey, Paleo. Paleo! I'm dead, Paleo. I like I said. I want to head up most of the mm -hmm. endings here. Came okay. to a set of two I know of only one left. Entered the door on his left. Which is me hitting the right button. Well, apparently, there's still several. Like, uh, there's some. There's one ending that someone yeah, mentioned not a yeah. that I have not seen either. yet. Like, Feeling I don't know how to get to it. Disbelief. Stanley decided to go oh. up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Whee! Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs Going to his upstairs. boss's office. Oh, I guess or I guess a few of the other endings that are. The Wait, moment he entered his manager's is that, office, was that the doorway Stanley I was supposed to run back out of? In his tracks, not yeah. a living soul uh -huh. anywhere. Could Try he really eight, be eight, all eight alone? Thing. Twice. This was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell but to his knees, bursting into half moans, half sobs, the Eight. guttural retching of life from a man denied any hope, any reason to keep nope. going. Here on the floor, he lay prone, paralyzed by fear this for nearly a full dialogue. hour. But when at last he began to move about and survey the situation, he found a keypad Thanks. behind the boss's desk. What could yeah. it mean? Okay. Was it a sign of hope for Stanley's future? Maybe? Alas, it was not. For although this keypad guarded the terrible secret of Stanley's past, it had been assigned a four-digit yeah. code so devious and so random that no man could ever hope to guess it. Two eight four five. St Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. I wonder if there's a way to fall down that. Because there's a thing that opens up. All right, we're going to do the buttons right. Oh, is that like a list of all the endings? Mm -hmm. So it's got like a whole diagram that yeah. you found. Do you see any that we've missed? <laughs> I, the, the, it's very vague with like what they're typing. Like a, you, what, what, what the ending Stanley walked straight ahead as, through the large door that word. read so Mind I, Control I don't know facility. exactly what ending. So we came in here earlier for anyone that's just popping in. The lights like rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to Stanley Parables making you dizzy balls. I'm dizzy. All right. This time we're going to be proper. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Where's Each the one that's the pirate? number of an employee in the building. Stanley's mm -hmm. co-workers. You said once the lives of so many individuals reduced to images on the screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Freedom. Freedom. We don't usually go have our streams last so long, but I'm. It was too hard. I just know I'm gonna forget everything control. else Had that Stanley we did. Really been under someone's control all this time? Don't was there any the reason he was happy with his boring Are job? That his emotions backwards? had been manipulated no. to accept it blindly? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, no. Some of these he are, refused to believe it. Very he vague. couldn't so accept it. Though. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't well, it? Well, at least, was at least this ending is like Had the big one I want to also hit. Had he spent his entire mm -hmm. life utterly blind to the and then world? I'll, I think I'll feel satisfied unless there's any endings that people are like, oh wait, but no, here was the proof. The heart Not of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad 
or content. Oh, wait. Walking, no, we will not eating, do the baby working, game for four All of it hours. monitored <laughs> and commanded from this very place. <laughs> Next time. And as the cold so reality those of his past There's a button began here. to sink in, Stanley decided oh. that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power yeah, no, over lovely. another human life. For all right, I'm going in, guys. The controls once I, I imagine there's an ending where you find the numbered buttons. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. What can you do? Do? <laughs> we just do it. Oh, well, there are one. There's two. So we got to find three. I do recommend the one where you walk back out of the boss's office. So we gotta at least do that one. Alright, alright, alright. Where is three? Where is three? I just found three. Now to four. There were a couple upstairs. Here's four. Walking up on the wall. If nothing happens with this, I'll say cool. How many buttons are they? Using? Five. Okay. You know where five is? Yep. Number five is alive. Let's see if this does anything. I'm sure it will. Cool. Now, do you think I messed it up? If you because I know you pressed two twice. You saw that? Yeah. <laughs> it, it probably won't work properly if you press one of the buttons twice. Wasn't that awesome? One. Two. Two. Tree. Where was tree? Tree woo. It was against tree the wall. Yeah, there. Three. You did not press it. Are you sure? Yeah. There you go. Okay. That's what I did earlier, but I wasn't sure. Oh no, Gemini says they don't do anything. Oh no. That's well, bullshit. Wait, I still. Unless. They were reacting to us, us. finishing this. Oh, or, maybe. Well, but, they might not know. do anything if Some it Some people do seem to have a strong understanding of this game. When did you say this game came out? How old is it? 2011. Wow. Almost 10 years. Yeah. We're all old people. Okay, well, if this doesn't do anything, then... Okay, let's go forward. <laughs> oh, so Alright, so are you going to turn it off at this point? I'm going to turn it off. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to... Press it. Sorry, press this dialogue. rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal yeah. had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. How to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley Short stepped the quote through unquote, the open nice door. Ending. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. 
This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy! And All right. it's never the end, and never the end. Alright, so, you gotta like, inch your way into How the wonderful. manager's office. Stanley was out. alone. Finally. This oh. is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. Because the end is never the end is never the end. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the I door. I was just seeing if it was going to give me like a different thing. What a odd. Yet there game. was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley so decided to go like into his thumbnail. boss's office. Yeah. Hoping he might find like coming to a staircase, Stanley walked a upstairs game, to I his boss's like. office. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's... Or it's just like sub subverting everything. Okay, so you gotta be careful. So here. it's these doors, right? Yeah. Just kind of go in them a little bit and then back out real quick. Okay, I think we... All right, now walk somewhere. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. <laughs> okay. That was pretty on, on the. Yeah. Let's uh, maybe that. Hello. Try the. The store. No. To the left. That one. Hello. Yeah, go back out that one. Oh. What's happening, Sarah? Jemaniah says, this is what it will feel like when quarantine is over and we walk out for the first time. I'm, I'm confused. Uh, let's see, who uh, was it? Who was it that suggested this one? Which one of you suggested you, uh, who, um, who dares suggest this evil? DJ guys, what do we do? No. All the way back. Go all the way back to the office. <laughs> all the way back. I think this might be the last uh, ending that we do. Do that. Does that sound right? Um, yeah. Or is there any others that you're like, oh, wait, wait, wait. do this. I, I think I've experienced all the ones that I've experienced. So all this right. One, this one's the last one, guys. I think this is, this is going to be it, guys. We've had our happiness ending. The oh. doors closed. Yeah. Doors now we go closed. all the way back. The doors closed. Wah, wah, wah. 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 Wah, wah,
There's a... Shorn Forest says that there's a... One where you exit out a window. Yeah. I feel like I, I did that ending. I don't remember exactly how I did it, but I kind of vaguely remember that ending. Hmm. But I think... Does anyone was... know how to get to that ending? Have I gone too far? Like, I feel no. like I just keep repeating what I'm doing. I, I think you're... Oh, here we go. Yeah. Escape, Escape pod, pod launch, launch bay. bay. Escape! Get me out! Oh, boy. I need, I need that point of light reference. Yeah. Just keep on walking forward. Oh, that's speedy. Yeah. I just feel like you're going to miss something. Oh, here we go. Okay. Beam me up, Scotty. Did we win? What happened? <laughs> I do know, but it would be impossible to explain it. You'd have to look it up or watch a video, so maybe not worth does, it right does now. Does that mean we escaped? In that last ending? I suppose. Let's see what it Someone says. was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Uh-oh. Another game give me anxiety. Yeah. That'd be creepy if they actually had, like, someone. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, well, he entered the door. Hey, we're <laughs> CJ guys says, what a crappy ending. Um, <laughs> You're the one that suggested it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> it it might have been like they saw it, like being like, "Oh, an escape pod." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they didn't realize that it was just gonna like. <laughs> um. Okay. So, with the window, is there any indicator of how we do that? Like, like in that list uh, that you had. Um. Mm, uh, that was pretty funny. That was pretty like such an <laughs> elaborate setup to it. Yeah. Let's see. Window. You see anything? This is window. I see one that says heaven, whiteboard, serious, reluctant, song, voiceover, confusion, death, space, choice, art, games. So we did games. We did. Well, we didn't do art because we would have to play the baby game for four hours. There's a secret disco in this game. <laughs> yeah, it was. I thought we had pressed the light bulb button in that like ending room, but whatever. Sarah um, burped. Museum bomb life. I don't know which one's the window because they're all very, very vague and, and all of that. So I think, yeah. but we did get quite a few in. We did pretty good, I'd we say. We did pretty good. We did pretty good. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed uh, is it, is in the first room out of Stanley's office. You walk to a up to a chair onto a desk next to a window. It's in the first room out of Stanley, Stanley's office. Oh, shoot. Can I just begin the game again? Yeah. In my head, I'm like, no, all that... All that progress. And the game's like, no. All right, wait, wait, wait. let's All see if we can do this. workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Should be in this no matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Table 433. 433, he says. 434, 433. You got onto the table, a table earlier. Oh, yeah, I accidentally like, walked on top of it. I don't think I did it on purpose. I don't know how to, how to get on tables, though. Um, just trying. Maybe walking on each of these. 434. Wait. 434. No, this one. They're okay. saying walk. No, this one. Walk up. Okay, the chair is pulled out. Yeah. Walk up on it. Or sure. Shit. Sure. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Oh, no! Did it advance okay. the story in any way? Know. Can you, like, <laughs> finagle your way over there? <laughs> this is like, this is like, <laughs> uh, 
crash? When you're on top of the computer? There you go. Yeah, out the window. Oh! <laughs> oh, I thought it was still falling. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary <laughs> into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. Yeah. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't <laughs> yeah. this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? <laughs> Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. Okay. Next. Oh, um, walk up to it? Can you just walk up to it? Oh. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea, but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? <laughs> Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other <sighs> option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. <laughs> well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. <laughs> no! Click no. Well, Sit here forever and ever. Oh no. Uh well, should we do it? Should we I think that is a wrap. Oh well, I was gonna say, oh. should I come back and, and hit yes on this and then we're done. Okay. Alright. Alright. <laughs> last last one and then we're then we're good. Um as as I work my way to this, uh since we know what we're doing. Yeah. Um, Stanley had never seen what do you think of this game? Lit. Was it a what sign of something? On he this hoped it was. He hoped very yeah. much I, that it I, was. I enjoy the game. I think it's funny. Cool. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map okay. until oh, yeah. he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's but design. But yeah, you think it's wrong. funny? He then praised the game for its insightful hmm. and witty it's commentary funny? into the nature of video um, game structure and its you, examination you called it an anti -game of structural narrative tropes. Like, so, that's kind of like the feeling here, I have. Like, think, it's like, isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? The game okay, about I'm choice, over it now. What do you, you know, think? Are you sick of this gag yet? It does give you choices. You know, I don't yeah. know. It's just kind of like it, it. I feel like it's kind of like a. Yeah, I don't know. Like a antithesis or whatever. I don't know. Paleo said the Stanley Parable is an example of something that can only be done in a video game. So I like it. Yeah. Alright, I'm selecting yes. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. Wait, what did he say? There once was a man named Stanley. <laughs> He's just gonna who keep people going. considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. 
What Stanley liked most was buttons. Rock says he you should play this guy's other like game, The Beginner's Guide. Button. I also have that game. You did it in all a, day. Yeah, we'll play it way. at some point. It but might be another contender for people to vote on. I'm trying to hear Which is why he is in this parable and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yes. You too will become quite unbearable. Apparently says, is that a cake? <laughs> yeah. He's had a cake this- you like No, I can't eat it. So nice of you to eat a cake right in front of me when I haven't eaten any dinner and it's <laughs> 9 o'clock p.m. <laughs> Nine o'clock p.m. <laughs> well, what a nice little music. It's a, it's not a cheesecake. It's a Boston cream pie. It's a Boston creamer. Someone earlier said, "So that's what they're calling it these days," and I was like, "Whoa!" Hmm. Well, this is very nice music to end things <laughs> off on. Love it, love it. For a pleasant cake. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Don't choke on it. I had fun. Yeah, wipe your face a little bit. <laughs> Still a little bit there in the corner. <laughs> and a napkin. All right, I thanks, also guys. I have a shirt. Um. I just want to say I had fun with this game. Um, it was uh, it was just different. It was it was weird. It was it was pleasantly weird. The narrator, which I just said that word, weird. Narrator. Um, was just was just fun. Like I I enjoyed. Uh, it's one of those games where the dialogue obviously is like mm -hmm. everything about it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just had so much fun with that. Uh, you know, it, again, it's different. It's yeah. not, I don't know what to expect. And I honestly don't know what the hell all you thought when you were getting into this game yeah. and you're like, let's play Stanley Parable. Yeah. Like, I wonder like who the first person who bought this game not knowing anything about it mm -hmm. thought when they played this and they're like, what the hell's going on? I, this has to be a game that was like a word of mouth type of game. Yeah. That people are like, you, you gotta play this game. It had trailers and stuff. like. I think there was still there was a good amount of people. That I can't even like imagine them. what the trailers look like for yeah. this. Um, anyways, like we said, uh, a huge shout out. What? The music stopped. Yeah, it did. A uh, huge shout out goes to. I love how we're just ending on a white screen. Um, well, should I? Yeah. We're gonna be talking over him though. Well, I'm not gonna leave the office. Ooh, he'll probably keep talking. Uh, we want to thank all of our patrons here on this Patreon stream. Sarah, it's uh, yeah. Yellow Thunder, and Anime Guy 01, Saber Spark, Severus, Michaela Shakespeare, Charlie, Charlie Quigley, Quigley C.284, and Joe Morganti. So thank you all so much for your support. Uh, like we said, obviously, um, if we're able to get uh, more patrons. We will try to do even more Patreon streams and uh, really have fun interacting with everybody yeah. as we work through these video games. Um, hope you enjoyed yourself. This was a long one over just at the three hour yeah. mark here. <laughs> uh, so thank you so much for watching. We're ready, Player Dumb, and we will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a good time eating healthy this weekend. Thank you for watching.